challenge him. You know, Marco Rubio also had a moment where he got applause. Initially, Trump was, you know, banging at Bush about speaking Spanish. But look at what Marco Rubio had to say. This is a country where we speak English, not Spanish. My grandfather instilled in me the belief that I was blessed to live in the one society in all of human history where even I, the son of a bartender and a maid, could aspire to have anything and be anything that I was willing to work hard to achieve. But he taught me that in Spanish because it was the language he was most comfortable in. And he became a conservative even though he got his news in Spanish. And so I do give interviews in Spanish, and here's why. Because I believe that free enterprise and limited government is the best way to help people who are trying to, who are trying to achieve upward mobility. And if they get their news in Spanish, I want them to hear that directly from me, not from a translator at Univision. Thank you, Senator Rubio. Senator Cruz. I think Latino voters were definitely applauding, and maybe many other Americans last night. How did you think he handled that? I think he handled it amazingly. I think he went back at Trump and said, listen here, buddy, you know, it's not just that he's speaking Spanish because he's trying to woo voters or because he's for different immigration policy than you are. It's because that is what he understands. He knows how to relate. He knows how to speak to people. His wife speaks Spanish. And this is something I do. And my grandfather spoke Spanish. And look, many of us came from grandparents or parents that were immigrants. And we use America to, to its fullest and make sure that you know we can do better than what our parents and our great grandparents had and that's why people came here and I think Marco Rubio hit that nail on the head and I think that his his future as whether it's a presidential candidate or on and on in the Republican Party he definitely solidified it last night okay